Hello Knitters! This is Zachary Wilder coming to you from La Bienname Studios in Paris. Um, I wanted to introduce to you today the convoy cowl that I had um, created for Pom Pom Magazine, edited by Aimé from La Bienname and Stephen West. Um, it's a double knit cowl, meaning that uh, you actually knit both sides at the same time. The It is completely reversible. Uh, the other side is a negative image. It's based on uh, a dazzle camouflage from World War One that was used by uh, the British Navy, um, and it was made in collaboration with my mother, Susan Wilder. Um, I knitted originally in La Bienime, uh Sport, uh, but I also made it uh, some swatches in uh, La Bienname's Helix, um, which is a fantastic option, um, and uh, I really love the feel of it. Uh, this is a swatch that I made in order to imitate the tension that you would get with knitting, double knitting in the round. Um, and you can see that uh, there's all these floats in the back, and when you finish, you can just simply uh, cut the floats once you're done with them so that you can see the beautiful work on the other side. Um, this is an example, actually, of another uh, of another swatch that was uh, made, which has the floats in the back as well. Um, so, to just uh, so that you become acquainted with the uh, technique of double knitting, I wanted to show you how easy it is. Um, I'm making another swatch in in Helix as well. Uh, this is in the colors um, uh, Yellow Brick Road and Kitsune. Um, and essentially it, it functions kind of like a uh, knit one, purl one rib or one by one ribbing. Um, and so what you're going to do is whatever color that you're working in, um, here's an example of the, of the swatch. Um, one uh, box is going to equal actually two stitches um, and I'll show you why. So when uh, imagining that we're on the black the black box, um, I'm going to go for my dark color, and I'm going to knit one with both with both strands in the back. Then I pull both strands to the front, and then I purl the other color. So what other color that you're technically not working is the one that you're going to be purling at any time. So just to show you again, I knit with both yarns in the back, and then I pull these to the front and I purl with the other color. Um, and I'll do this until I actually need to change colors on the chart. So I'm knitting just black boxes here. And then when I get to a white box, I need to just do this one last purl, I will actually just start knitting on the other side with the purl. I'll just switch. Uh, there's no technique that's needed to, to, to do. It doesn't really matter if your yarn gets a little bit tangled um, because the knitting back and forth actually takes care of any twists uh, that, you, that you might have. So um, now I'm knitting with the contrast color and pulling this to the back, making sure to purl the other color that is resting. And that is basically the entire technique to double knitting. Um, it's really good to um, try to have a tension that is um, tight enough so that you don't see the other side. Because if you actually pull this apart, um, though I knit rather tight, so it's actually hard to see, but the other yarn uh, color is going to be on the other side in a sort of negative version of what you're of what you're making. Um, and that's it. So I hope to see a whole convoy of convoy cowls that appears online. Um, and if you have any questions, I have a Ravelry group that you can join of Zachary Wilder Designs. And thank you for joining me. Bye.